Hey everybody, I wasn't feeling particularly uh, creative today, so I thought I'd just do a little update on my Volca setup, kind of explain what's going on here. So I upgraded my sample, I did a, a MIDI out so that I could send the kick channel over to the Volca kick, so that I could have a separate kick but still control it from the sample. So I modified it with the MIDI out, but by default it's going to send every channel to the kick. So you, you want to change, uh, I think it's flag number 10, to do individual out. This is the sample two. If you have the sample one, you can do something similar with uh, Pagen's firmware, I think. Uh, and then what happens is the MIDI that gets sent out from the sample, uh, every note, I believe, gets sent out on uh, C3, which doesn't work for the kick. You want something lower. So I ended up using the uh, RK002 cable, the uh, active MIDI cable from RetroKits. And um, I used the uh, DUI Exchange. It's like a, a firmware repository. And I found one called a, a Note Offset. So I was able to transpose the kick two octaves down and uh, to a more appropriate pitch for the kick. And then you run into, into another problem where the mutes on the sample, uh, they do not translate. Uh, across MIDI. They do not apply. So if you mute out uh, the kick, it's still going to play on the kick. Uh, so how do I get around that? Well, I um, you, what, what you can do is you can leave this channel active and then you can just clear the part and then undo. And it's kind of the same thing as muting and unmuting the kick. And so... Um, then you run into another problem where you're going to have double kicks because you're going to use a sample to trigger the kick. Uh, but if you turn down the sample on here, it's actually going to turn down the kick. So I had to do something else creative. I had to uh, put a dummy sample on here. Uh, sample 00, zero is a blank sample. It doesn't have any sound on it. And I use that as my kick. So it actually is hitting a kick every time, uh, but you don't hear it. So the result is I get a separate discrete kick from the Volca kick that I can then uh, mix into the mix and using the dynamics feature, it's almost like a pseudo sidechain and it sounds really killer. I think you'll hear a difference in my uh, Volca productions. They'll sound deeper and more robust. Uh, all right, I hope I explained that. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a deeper video explaining this whole setup on YouTube, but I just wanted to do a little update right now. All right, thanks.